Here's your cut of the bank job. Okay, what's next? Something big. The Crimson Ghost will give you the dope himself. I sent for you, Ash, because tomorrow is the day for which I've been waiting for which my carefully prepared plans have been laid. Tomorrow morning at the university, Professor Chambers will demonstrate his cyclotrone, a device which is designed to detect and repel any atomic bomb attack. Now, he intends to turn his invention over to the government, but I shall seize the machine before he has a chance to make this patriotic gesture. Unless you intend to sell the machine to a foreign government, I don't see why you want it. Because in my hands, the cyclotrode will become the most powerful offensive weapon in the world. It will instantly stop any electrically controlled mechanism, destroy lighting and power systems, paralyze the activities of the police. The resulting panic and terror will leave the city open to unlimited blackmail and extortion. How are you going to get this machine? That should not be difficult. The demonstration is taking place before the scientific members of the university faculty. Since I am one of its professors, naturally I shall be present. You understand, gentlemen, that this model of my cyclotrode has a comparatively short range. But a full-size machine will have a range of hundreds of miles and will be able to locate and destroy any atomic bomb or similar device long before it reaches an effective striking position. I need hardly tell you that this is a confidential demonstration and that no word of what you see or hear must go beyond this room. Professor Chambers, do you mind explaining just how this power is generated? I'm afraid I haven't the right to do that, Anderson, even among my trusted colleagues. It's three o'clock, Dr. Chambers. Thank you. I will contact Professor Richards, my assistant and collaborator in this invention. Duncan Richards? I thought he went in for scientific crime detection. Oh, that's true. He is the criminologist responsible for protecting the secrets of government atomic research. But he is also one of the outstanding physicists in the country. You understand, I have no idea from what location he will launch the model airplane. Calling Duncan Richards. Calling Duncan Richards. Yes, Professor Chambers? We are ready. You may launch the plane. At once, sir. Successful. This is the crucial moment, gentlemen. Watch the screen carefully. and make my report. Amazing uh, change. Think it across the country, indeed. I hadn't felt so safe since before the bomb fell on Hiroshima. Uh, you're very kind, gentlemen, but any honors must be equally shared with Professor Richards. Nice work, Chambers. Nice work. Uh, when do you plan starting work on the larger model? Well, after tomorrow, the whole thing will be in the hands of the government. And now, if you'll excuse me, gentlemen, Miss Farnsworth will summon you here again when Duncan returns. Oh, thanks. Sure, thank you, Professor. Shall 
Shall I transcribe these notes, Dr. Chambers? Yes, my dear, and I'll call you when Duncan arrives. I have a right to investigate the warrant. Later, I'm rather busy right now. This won't take much of your time. What's the meaning of this? It's all right, Professor. Hand me that box. We're taking it with us. Psychotrode is useless now. Proceed with your murder. That easy, Professor. You built that machine, and you can build another one for us. Come on. Who is this man? There were two men. They were after the cyclotrode. What is that thing on his neck? That's what I was wondering. He's coming around. Maybe he'll tell us what it is, as well as who sent him for the cyclotrode. Look, there's a skull on that thing. What's that? What have I done? 